guys uh, welcome back to another video today I am here at artillery road they tell me and I'm here to visit a friend they have a guest house here uh, I was asking what guest house actually is she told me that um, in Bangalore um, <clears throat> there are people who have properties here houses here which are unoccupied so what they do is <clears throat> my friend and her husband along with her associate they partner up and then um, they collaborated with the house owner and the company which my friend friend's husband uh, has um, the name of the company is post right post right what they do is they partner with the house owners and then they share the revenue which comes from the guest who pays to stay in the guest house so let's go inside and check out what facilities they have in the guest house the living room area the dining area then there's your living room oh. so they provide TVs and over there is the kitchen where the guest and cook their own lunch, breakfast, and dinners. They provide you this refrigerator. There's this washing machine. There's your sink, your cooking stoves, and a microwave. Oh, there's your toilet. Let's see what they provide to the guest. There's a wash machine, and there's your toilet. What is this? Oh, these are closets. Let's check out the bedroom. Ta-da! There's a mirror. There's a wardrobe. That's your bedroom. Nice and comfy. In the corner you have a place to sit and relax. You can look outside and enjoy the view also from there. There's also a place where you can relax. Okay, they provide you with two chairs. Ta -da. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm done exploring the guest house and I, I find it very 
nice and comfy and uh, cozy so if you are planning to come to bangalore and looking for comfortable stays you can actually book this house it's not going to be it's not i think it's not going to cost you much <laughs> the co <laughs> co-owner of this house you can contact her she's on instagram also and on facebook also uni samro her handle instagram handle is uni samro right yes. yeah and she runs this guest house with her husband and another friend so yeah bye this is all saints church campus noel stopped the car so that i could have a look around inside the campus There are big banyan trees over there. Church. So the person who built the roof also built boats. So this is how they built boats in the old days. They did. Oh. It looks different now. The design and all. It's beautiful. It's raining. So Noel is taking all of us to this South Indian restaurant. It's called Gar Eden Garden Restaurant. You run, you run. Oh, it started you raining. Run. Oh my god. Leave. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, yeah. At least good, at least bad. <laughs> Suddenly, out of nowhere, it started raining. Oh my god. Just take the umbrella. I don't know why it had to rain now. They gave us when we got in is what is this? Buttermilk. Buttermilk. That's milk. Curds. Curd? They beat it. Uh huh. And then they take out all the butter and that water they give you. Let me see with chili. Chili? Oh, chili really? in coriander. And this is? That is curd. Curd. That is the sweet called paisam. Paisam. That's sambar. Sambar. Ras is rasam. This is, is garnet taste sour. Sambar. Sambar is made out of dal and vegetables. Ah, it's not good. This is really sour. This is, uh, that's sour. That's a soup. It's called rasam, made out of rasam. And this is banana. That's banana, raw banana. And this is? That's dal and uh, greens. They call it uh, 
सबसार और पकून तुलू तेलुगु दैट्स अनदर डाल डी ओके आई डोंट नो व्हाट इट इज कॉल्ड दिस इज दैट्स चिली आई नो दे से इट्स सोल्ड इन व्हाट कर्ड एंड दैट्स राइस एंड इट्स वेरी टेस्टी आंटी हाउ इज इट very tasty okay, okay. auntie says it's very tasty so i'll just also join her so we just had a very hearty uh, south indian traditional south indian meal and i'm really full now and i enjoyed this one very very much for some they say i've already finished my presentation Thank you so much for the meal. <laughs> I liked it. Come again. If you invite, Auntie. <laughs> ah, okay. Sure, I will. So I just tasted my first ever uh, South Indian uh, meal, and I liked it. Maybe I'll be coming here again for it someday when I come here again. All thanks to Noel and Pam. Thank you. Four o'clock. Four eighteen. What's the time? Four o'clock. Come, let's go. When we are done eating, we have to fold the banana leaf inwards. Noel says if we like the meal it has to be folded inwards so we just fold it inwards all of the <laughs> banana leaves we ate on so yeah we're leaving home we're leaving we are here at polar bear because my friends are taking me here saying the taste uh, the taste of ice cream is really nice here so yeah we are here at polar bear flavors here What are you guys having? I can try that. It's a cool for you order. Pistachio nut. Anything you suggest is what fine. Like? What kind of flavor do you like? You like coffee and chocolate flavor? I don't like coffee. Okay. Do you like yes. anything? You like cake and scones? No, uh, fruits. Uh, fruits fruit should be fine. Okay, yeah. choose which one you want. You want jackfruit? Pistachio nut. I have selected that one. Okay, okay. Pistachio nut. 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 Pistachio nut.
while you were busy, we already started. This is called Burbur. This is a very famous man. A version of a famous ice cream in Bangalore. And, uh, yeah. This is, this is a, uh, That's why we got new ones tomorrow. This is the uh, polar bear version. <laughs> oh, it's not <laughs> Like it? The glass is pretty. Yeah. I, I actually ordered this. Mine is ordinary. <laughs> Mine is very ordinary. <laughs> the thing about polar bear is that uh, I think it has a very good mouth feel. You good ice quality ice cream when you put it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's like really smooth. You don't get the ice crystals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you put this in your mouth, find it very smooth. I mean, this is a really high quality ice cream. Yeah. So we'll enjoy your ice creams and Bye-bye.